Today we are going to take a look at a honeybee under a stereo microscope and we're going to check for acarine. So I've double pinned the thorax of the bee and I'm taking the forceps and I'm going to lift the head off the honeybee. And when I lift the head, the head and the first two legs come away or should come away at that point. Now it's exposing the trachea for me but I, what I can see is where the actual first spiracle is on the honeybee. So I'm increasing the magnification there from 10 times to 20 times just because it makes it easier for me to view what I'm actually trying to do here. And I'm about to put a scalpel in underneath what we call the collar of the bee. You can see the scalpel going in there to score across the bottom of it to loosen that collar. And once we have that collar loosened, we should be able to grab that collar with the forceps and remove it. And in the process of removing it, we are opening what I would call the shoulders of the honeybee to see where the first spiracle is and the trachea connected to it to make sure that the spiracles and the trachea are completely white. Now, you go, once it's scored, you take your forceps and you try and lift off the actual collar itself. Now, sometimes with practice, it will come off in one go. Other times, you'll find bits of it left behind. You'll find that the fresher the bee is, the easier this job is to do. And there are times when you have to go back and root a small bit to get at the collar. Now here up on the left hand side, we have to root it out a small bit just to get the last piece of the collar out of our way because it's covered over with some flesh or some material there. So we'll have another cut there now off of lifting that collar out of the way and hope we don't do any more damage. And of course, there's a bit of stuff after coming away there with the collar. Um, now I need to, I'm going to bring it around now to a 40 magnification just so that you can see what it is we're looking for. So we're looking to have a look at the white trachea there and that white trachea should be white all the ways across. Now in this picture here it's white across from the spiracle right across the trachea both left and right hand side and these are the bre first bre pair of breathing tubes in the bee. There are further spiracles down the body and they're smaller so it's in here the acarine mite would go if it's it's going to get into the bee at, and if it's in the colony. In the next photograph we're looking at here, the left hand spiracle and trachea are blackened and this is infected with acarine. 